Okay, so here I'm going to dive into quantum health 101. What is quantum health? What is quantum biology? Well, first and foremost, it's very much an emerging field that people are learning about how the human body operates and then how we as clinicians can support other people or support our clients with different strategies that go be, uh, beyond the biochemistry of the body. So to begin with, just from a very, very basic level, it's called a couple of different things. It's been It's now being called quantum biology, applied quantum biology, quantum health, circadian biology, circadian health. And all of it, it what, what it's really doing is it's looking at how the body operates at the level below the chemistry. So our human body is made up of a bunch of cells that are organized into all these organ systems. And each one of these cells is made up of a bunch of proteins and organelles and molecules. And each one of these molecules and proteins and organelles, it's composed of atoms. So we're going back to chemistry, high school chemistry, right? They're all made up of different atoms and combinations of atoms. And each atom is made up of electrons, protons, and neutrons. And the electrons interact with photons, which is light. And so we now know enough about the human body to understand how it operates at that scale and how we can influence it at that scale to promote health. So for example, we know that electron flow or electricity or electrical flow is happening through the mitochondria. And when they flow electrons through them and their ability to do so helps the cell maintain adequate energy from ATP and water production. We know that proton currents are being are flowing throughout the body as well as a means of delivering something called deuterium depleted protons or hydrogen to all different aspects of the cells as well, from the lysosome to the mitochondria and, and other aspects of the cell. We know that the all the electrons in the body are always uh, interacting with light and they're capturing light and those light frequencies act as information and also additional energy for those electrons. And we do know that we interact from a, a, a higher or more macro perspective with light in general to do something called set the circadian rhythm. So when we have light signals in our environment, they dictate or they tell my body to do certain things. And over the course of human history, humans have always had a period of sunrise, sun elevating, sun leaving, sunset, darkness, sunrise, sun elevating, sun leaving, sunset, darkness. And as that sun changes in the sky, so too do the frequencies and intensities of light. And it turns out that those different blends and frequencies, sometimes we would call them colors of light, turn on and turn off different pathways in the body. And so that's what quantum health is. It's understanding how we are operating at the scale of subatomic particles, but also then how to optimize it with things like our light environment and how things that are dis that might, might disrupt it. Like for example, our exposure to non-native electromagnetic frequencies or frequencies of light that aren't from the sun, these really foreign frequencies and how they can disrupt our health and our physiology. And so really um, quantum health is such a cool lens with which to view the body. And I have found it to be the most important foundation with which we have to lay to support human health. Because when we optimize the electrons flow and the proton flow and the water in our body, which holds those electrons, and then we also optimize all of the light frequencies and signals that help to tell the body how to operate, it goes a long way into supporting what we would call homeostasis or the body's ability to return back to its natural state of thriving.